This video is about the basics of the WMS. It shows you how to learn a WMS receiver into a certain channel, how to copy channels and how to delete receivers again. There are two radio receivers and one handheld transmitter. The handheld transmitter is in the factory state. This means that after activation, the red L lights up for one minute. To start the scanning process, the handheld transmitter must be woken up. To do this, press any button so that the red L lights up. Then press the L button in the battery compartment for 5 seconds, until the handheld transmitter scans. A running light appears and the transmission LED flashes green. The WMS devices found are then displayed above the row of numbers. The flashing LED is the currently selected device. A red LED means that the device is in the factory state. A receiver that has already been learned in would be displayed as a green light. If a device is already part of another network, it is not displayed here because it has a different, unknown network key. To identify the receiver, briefly press the I button once. The selected receiver waves. The receiver can now be allocated to a product type. For example, external Venetian blind. Briefly press the external Venetian blind button once and it will flash. Select channel 1 with the external Venetian blind button. The LED jumps under the 1. And to save, briefly press the S button. The LED now flashes green. The receiver has been learned in. The plus button can be used to select the next receiver. The LED flashes over 1. Use the I button to identify the receiver. The second receiver performs a waving movement. Use the external Venetian blind button to set the product type and select channel 2. Press the S button to save the assignment. The learning in process was successful and the LED flashes green. Briefly press the L button to stop scanning. The external Venetian blind button can be used to switch between channel 1 and 2. Both external Venetian blinds should be operated together on channel 0. To do this, channels 1 and 2 must be copied to channel 0. Select channel 2 and briefly press the L button. The green L lights up and the channel number flashes. Press and hold the product button to activate the unassigned channels. Then select channel 0 with the external Venetian blind button. Briefly press the L button again to confirm copying. The numbers 0 through 2 light up. Now channel 1 must be copied. Select the channel. Briefly press the L button. The green L lights up again. Select with the external Venetian blind button channel 0. Confirm copying again with the L button. Both receivers can now be operated jointly via channel 0. The receiver of channel 2 should now be deleted from the network. To do this, wake up the handheld transmitter with any button and press the L button for 5 seconds to start the scanning process. Both receivers are displayed as a green LED above the row of numbers. External Venetian blind 2 must now be identified. The flashing LED indicates the selected receiver. Briefly press the I button once. External Venetian blind 2 now waves. This means that we have already selected the correct receiver. 
To delete from the network, briefly press the S button and the C button simultaneously. All receivers confirm with a waving movement. Briefly press the L button to complete the deletion process. The LED flashes red as at the beginning. This means the receiver is back in its factory state. End the scanning process by briefly pressing the L button. The single channel 2 is deleted. Only external Venetian blind 1 is still learned in on channels 0 and 1. Channel 1 is therefore redundant and should be deleted. To do this, wake up the handheld transmitter. Select channel 0 and briefly press the L button. Switch to channel 1 and briefly press the L button again. Channel 1 has been deleted. The receiver can still be operated via channel 0, as only a single channel has been deleted and not the receiver.